Welcome to Discover Janesville. My name is Yuri Rashkin, and we are guests today at Speakeasy in downtown Janesville. And my next guest is Teresa Carroll. Teresa, thank you for joining us. Sure, no problem. <laughs> you were probably here just for lunch. And just, I was, okay. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um, what I think is so cool is that you work in Janesville. You were, are you from Janesville originally? Or? No, not originally. No. No. no, but you've been here quite some time. Yeah, yeah, enough to call it home. There you go. Mm -hmm. and, and yet you are in, involved in, in music, in theater. How, how did you decide that you, it was still important enough for you to, while you were still doing all these things that you have to do for a day, you know, day job, as they mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. but still important for you to express yourself and, and be a musician? And well, I was, a, um, I was always involved in theater in high school. And when I went to college, I was involved in the arts. And um, then I, I sort of, I took a break after all of that. I, it was like a 10 year break, um, just because I got married and I had a, a beautiful little girl and you know I, I knew that I needed to sort of get on my feet and I, I just couldn't fit everything into the day. But then something happened along the way um, called unemployment and uh, I found myself. Something. Yeah, I found myself unemployed, and I decided, you know, I'm not just going to sit around and do nothing. What is it that I really enjoy doing that's going to be a good upper for me? And I was in the Rocky Horror Picture Show at UROC, and it. And after that, it seemed like everything started to happen, and that was just last. What was that? March or something. And um, usually, you would think that after Rocky Horror, like bad things would be yeah, happening. No, no, it was all good. It was all good. It was all good. good. It was okay. all good. Um, and I just realized that I had all this stuff inside of me that I had kind of pushed down for so many years. And once I sort of popped the cork, I mean, that was sort of it. And I couldn't, I couldn't not do it. So um, I decided, okay, well, this is going to become part of my life again. And I need to figure out how to fit it all in and make it happen because I'm truly happiest and most balanced. And I'm, my husband will back me up on this. <laughs> when I can exercise both the artistic side of my personality as well as the day-to-day the -day, um, stuff we all have to do. Um, and it's that, that balance that, that keeps me in check. Um, I've, there's really been a change inside of me since I've allowed that to sort of re-enter my life. So, so that's really why and, and how it all happened. I was in, um, when I graduated uh, high school, I, I was in a heavy metal band for years, and that was a lot of fun for a variety of other reasons we won't go into here. But you know, you sort of kind of grow out of that. Um, and um, then I went to college, and like I said, life now, happened. Was that, that was not in Janesville, or was that? That was in Janesville. That was in Janesville. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was in Janesville. What was the name of the band? We had several names, Yuri. Yeah. Um, it was Bad Intentions, Bad Intentions, the reunion tour, Hogwild, and we ended with a band called Suction. So it was a very, <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy time in my life, and I'm really glad I did it. And that's really when I um, realized that, that I could sing and perform and do all that kind of stuff. So I knew I had those skills. A girl singing in the heavy metal band. Yeah, well, it, I really learned how to um, be a powerful singer that way, I think because I had to be, because I was in a band with a bunch of guys who told me I couldn't do it, so I had something to prove. Um, but, you know, again, like I said, it really proved to me that I had I had this talent in me, and if I ever wanted to use it again, it was there, so. And so when, when you were ready, when the, when the, the something called unemployment happened and you realized that you wanted to do this, you found, how did you go about finding or reestablishing that road back to music? Well, it started with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I played the narrator and sort of the director gave me free reign to do whatever I wanted so I had a lot of fun with that role um, and I was I was uh, in, the, in the cast was a young man who was going to school at UROC whose father had a band and he told me about his dad's band and stuff and I'm like oh that sounds great well in the meantime I had actually come to the speakeasy and with a friend one night and there was a band playing and I thought oh this band's really kind of groovy I really like it so I gave him my name and number and I said you know if you're ever looking for a singer just give me a call 
Well, lo and behold, it was the band that my young friend in Rocky Horror Picture Show told me about. And um, the, so he wasn't kidding. He no, said the band was good. Yeah, the band no, was good. Yeah, and so uh, no phone call, you know, ever came for you know a few months. So I figured, well, okay, I'll just I'll keep searching for a band. And so finally, one day, the phone call came in, and they they needed a lead singer. And I said, yeah, okay, sure. And I showed up at practice, and we practiced one night, and they said, yeah, you need to be in our band. And so the rest is history. So then I joined Bop Ritual. And we've, we, have, we have gigs every single weekend. It's incredible how busy we are. So, and it's great fun. It's just great fun. Because you're able to express yourself. Because I'm able to express myself. <laughs> but you, well, you know, maybe the, what was it, the suction? Right? Suction was the last one. Right, yeah. maybe they'll do a reunion tour. I'm or? hoping not. <laughs> really, that's, that's in the past. That's in the past. That's where it should stay. <laughs> well, you, you have an amazing voice. I, I heard you sing, and, and you do some of the things. You do the Janis Joplin cover, which I thought was as good or better than the original, in my opinion. And I was, you know, coherent, which is incredible. Which Janis is a, was not. Right, which is a step <laughs> right. What would you say to those who are maybe finding themselves either at a that something like you said the unemployment or somebody who is just thinking that their their life is is moving in a way that maybe even works and, and everything is taken care of but they just don't feel like they themselves are expressing themselves in a way that they, they just feel lost I would just say just get it done I mean if your gut is telling you that this is something you need to do then you need to do it and the, the longer you ignore that the more miserable you're going to be like I said I didn't do anything for 10 years or more and that yearning never went away but I you know I kept pushing it down and pushing it down telling myself that I have to do the, the mature thing and and focus on the future and, and be very pragmatic about everything and um, and uh, until I was in a position where I could just say I'm gonna do whatever I want to do because I can you know um, I think people need to, to listen to that voice inside of them and toss off the perception that if I go outside of what I normally do, that, that people are going to look at me in a different way or maybe they won't take me as seriously when I think just the opposite happens. When people see that you're following your dream or something that you really want to do, they're going to look at you with more respect because you had the guts to do it when maybe they don't. So I would say go after it, chase it down, because you never know what you're going to find in there. I found so much emotion that I can project out to other people that I didn't realize that I had. And once I started to, to emote while I was singing, the, the crowd response has been so positive, and I'm able well, to... Well, because it's, it's clear that what you're feeling is right out there for everyone to see. Yeah, it's in the moment. It's right now. I mean, that is what I'm feeling at that particular time. And I just think that you can help so many people with your creative ability, whatever it might be, that they might be able to live through what you're doing somehow and make their lives better. Or maybe realize from looking at you that, hey, I've, I've got similar talents and and I like the way that I feel when I listen to music or paint or whatever. I'm going to try that, you know. And that's a great feeling to be able to, to, you know, help people realize that too. I mean, it's just it's a great feeling. And and we do need more art in Janesville. We have the talent here. You know it. I know it. We've had right. lots of discussions about this, and our circle of friends are all very talented. But for some reason. People are really afraid to step out and, and openly express that talent. And I think that we've come to a place in Janesville where, you know, now is the time, now more than ever, is the time when we as a community need more expression and more creativity and different ways to look at things. And, and so maybe you're not a painter or a singer or an actor or whatever. Maybe you have a, a creative approach to local government or maybe you have a different kind of perspective that nobody else has on um, how business should be run or how we should address issues affecting our community. Those are all creative skills and if you feel like you have them inside of you, you need to let them come out now because we need, as a community, that kind of help today.